feel like my biggest strength is the ability to see the field and my communication with the team and also my shot stopping abilities. Uh, the progression, I've grown a lot in the last two years and height wise I was 5'10 entering my freshman year and now I'm 6'4 and so I had to keep my agility and speed and quickness and that progression it has really helped me throughout the years. Uh, Keegan, along with his physical attributes of having you know, great size, good strength, uh, he is incredibly technically sound. Um, his handling, his footwork, his distribution is very, very good uh, for a player his age. And with the work that he puts in, we'll continue to you know, progress as he gets older and by the time he gets to college. Keegan does things that I haven't seen any other high school keepers do. Uh, even a couple of saves that were for a goal, good goalkeeper would kind of be a routine where they just punch it out or something like that. Uh, it just it would stick to Keegan. You can grab it, he'd catch you, bring it down. If they sent the ball in on a corner kick, throw in something like that, if it was going to a certain area of the goal, I knew Keegan was going to get it. It was it was a sure thing. It wasn't a well, he should or he might. It was. If they hit it to a specific area, and typically the most dangerous areas, it's Keegan's ball. Footwork has gotten uh, very clean, very quick. Uh, his handling is, like I said before, excellent for a player his age. Uh, his range is getting better. He's becoming more explosive, and he's getting much, much more comfortable with dealing with balls in the air. Everything, everything Keegan would do as far as a goalkeeper was technically correct. Uh, we had a lot of, well you see a lot of goalkeepers and especially in this area. Technically they are not, they're not strong. Sometimes they're just good athletes. They can kind of sense where it's going. Everything Keegan did was technically sound. Something that has changed a lot from his freshman to sophomore year just in a year is that he became a lot more vocal. He became he became a leader. He became basically the commander out there on the defense, and that and that was huge for us because we needed him to do that.
He's extremely dedicated. Um, like I said, he makes the drive, which is over an hour a couple times a week to come and train with me. Uh, he always has questions. He's a, a very good student of the game. He's asking the right things. He's looking at the right things to improve. Um, so he's not only putting the time in on the field, but he's you know continuing to think about what he can do better when he's away from the field as well. I think he can be quite, quite a good goalkeeper. Uh, like I said, I feel confident that definitely by the time he's ready to go to college, he'll be able to play at whatever level he chooses to play at. So whether it's Division One, Two, II, or Three, however that matches up with the college, you know, on the academic side, and the other sides that he wants to go to, I think he'll be prepared to play wherever. Well, number one is a clean sheet. Number two is to communicate as best I can with my back line. And number three is always be positive to my teammates throughout the game. <laughs>